What is going on? Strange things are happening all around the world and 2021 just got started. There are raging fires, increasing volcanic eruptions, floods, even a snowstorm in Saudi Arabia. And did you know that there is a report that says the United States will lose 70% of its population by 20 25. Something's happening. Let's talk about it on today's session. Banjir lagi baik Tuh Masa Allah Ayo-ayo dapat order ke bandara aja Kagak jadi diambil Nggak bisa lewat Untung gue kagak paksain lewat tadi Ya, celeduk makin, indah makin, makin gede ya bang Iya, celeduk indah Banjir lagi baik Kasian ini orang-orang Insya Allah, tabarakallah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Yom al-Khamis, 6-7 1442 جبال الظهر مركز على قان ما شاء الله تبارك الله نزول الثلوج بكثافه ما شاء الله تبارك الله ما شاء الله تبارك الله ما شاء الله تبارك الرحمن اليوم Just 30 kilometers away, Pakaya is erupting as well. Molten lava flows from its crater, streaming down the sides of the volcano. The entire state, for the first time in weather history, under that winter storm warning, we also had portions in West Texas that were under a blizzard warning. We reported early this morning, seven degrees uh, in parts of Dallas and other parts of the state. Uh, and right now we're looking at a evening that could get even colder. And now this, we're only in the first three months of 2021 and there are disasters happening around the world. Many of them we never hear about. Here is a report from the New York Times from March 4th that says in Iceland, 18,000 earthquakes over days signal possible eruption on the horizon. It says volcanoes in southwestern Iceland have been quiet for 800 years, but the period of rest may soon be over. More than 18,000 earthquakes have shaken the area in just over a week, leading scientists to believe that an eruption could be imminent. Are we really witnessing climate change or are these end time signs? Are these disasters the result of laws created by men that are legal yet wicked? If that's the case, then these disasters are warning signs. The laws of man will get you killed when they conflict with higher laws. Here in the US, things are not much better. This business report says that Fed Chair Jerome Powell is now warning about inflation. And I'm going to share some news with you later with some shocking predictions that say the U.S. will lose 70% of its population in less than five years. Most of us would agree that California has witnessed a lot of natural disasters lately, and it's getting worse. 
It says more than half of California is in severe drought. Severe drought, 31% in extreme, including parts of North Bay. So normally the pattern is when you see drought, famine is soon to follow. Now, I don't want to sound like a Debbie Downer or a conspiracy theorist. I'm just sharing some things with you that's being reported in the news today. And now this. USA Today reported on February 27th, 21, that we need to add falling sperm counts to the list of threats to human survival. It says humanity is facing not only a coronavirus pandemic and a climate crisis, but its existence is also threatened by falling sperm counts because of chemical exposure. Yes, chemical exposure. It says chemicals in our environment and other lifestyle factors in our modern age have harmed our reproductive health to the extent that in the future it may not be possible for most people to reproduce in the old-fashioned way. This comes from Shana Swan. She is an environmental and reproductive epidemiologist at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. It says she has more than four decades of experience in the field. She says sperm counts among men in North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand declined more than 59% from 1973 to 2011. She says, according to a meta-analysis, Swan wrote in 2017 that at the current rate, half of men in those countries, why those countries? Let me read them to you again. North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. She said men in those countries would have no sperm by 2045, while many others, those in other countries, would have very low counts. Now that is shocking. Let's keep going. So I thought this report was interesting. It says, why the sun will soon get dimmer. It says, by 2050, our sun is expected to be unusually cool. Scientists say the sun is expected to go into a dimmer, cooler cycle by 2050. So, I thought it was because of global warming that all of these disasters were happening. But based on this information, things are cooling down. So what's really at the root of all of this? Should we consider the behavior of man and the laws he created that are legal yet wicked? Laws that legalize the killing of the unborn, the alternative lifestyles? And what about the crimes against humanity? that are still on the books, like slavery and the exploitation of the poor around the world. Is it now time to reap what has been sown? Hmm. Can things get any worse, you may ask? Well, based on the information I'm about to share with you, you will see that we may only be at the tip of the iceberg. Here is a report from the Consortium of Defense Analysts, and they're highlighting threats to U.S. security. Now, this report came out in 2015. 
It says military aviation website forecasts U.S. economic collapse and massive depopulation by 2025. Now remember, this came out in 2015. So it goes on to say Deagle.com, a military equipment and civil aviation guide website, is causing a buzz on the internet for its dire forecasts that in a mere 10 years by the year 2025, the United States would be unrecognizable, a shadow of its former self. Specifically, it says the population will be reduced by 254 million or 78% of the population. It also talks about the GDP being reduced by 16 point five trillion. So what is Deagle.com? And based on this report, it's saying Wikipedia does not have an entry on Deagle.com. It says Deagle.com is a military equipment and civil aviation guide website. And this analyst says he has spent some time trying to figure out who is behind it and whether or not it is legitimate and what the purpose of it is. So he says certainly it seems legitimate as a catalog of military equipment. The corporations which manufacture the equipment and the government organizations involved with anything related to the military. So let's dig a bit deeper and see what else Deagle is saying about the United States. So I want to share an excerpt from this Al Gore blog before we actually look at some of the numbers on the Deagle.com site. They said, we'd love to know why Deagle is forecasting the population of the U.S. to drop from 327 million in 2017 to only 100 million in 2025, with them also forecasting a 2025 U.S. military budget of $32 billion down from our 2017 military budget of 637 billion. Hmm. They say while our emails to Deagle have gone unreturned, what does Deagle know that we don't know? It also says, before you go and discount Deagle's numbers, it's very important to know that their sources are the deep state with the CIA, U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. Department of State, and World Bank contributing data, data for their forecasts. So what does Deagle know that we don't know? Their sources make clear that whatever Deagle knows, the deep state knows too. It goes on to say, describing what sounds like scenes from a horror film, Dr. Quick warned in the Daily Mail of starvation, medicine supplies running low, energy systems crippling under the pressure, and the collapse of the global economy. So let's take a look at the site. All right, so again, you can visit this site. You can see how it's spelled here. It's, the information is interesting, but I just want to share some of this with you and you can make up your own mind. The first column here is showing the population in millions. So it's using a percentage um, of the population to show what the decrease will be by percentage. The second column is the real domestic product, which is the GDP. And then the third column is the defense budget, 
and the last column is the power purchase parity. So when you get into the information, it's going to show you that in 2025, China's population will be down 2%. Again, this is percentage, but they're up in all three areas here. Is showing that India's population will actually increase by 1%, and then um, they will go up in their GDP, I'm sorry, in their defense budget. Russia is expected to drop like 3% in population, but it's up in the other three areas here. And then Brazil is another country. It's um, percentage will not drop much, but you can see that it's up in these three areas. Now, the United States, it's showing a drop of 70%. <laughs> what in the world is going to happen that the United States loses 70% of its population? And you can see it's down heavily in the other three areas. Now, the other thing that's interesting as you go through it and you, you know, look at the, the countries, you will see that it's primarily the European nations, the European bloc, that's going, that's supposedly going to suffer massive loss. However, you will see that Mexico will lose a small percentage, but the United States and Canada will have massive loss based on this report. So that's, you know, kind of strange with the three sharing land mass, and you have two countries, the United States and Canada, losing massive amounts of people in comparison to Mexico. So again, you can uh, take a look at it. I'm not trying to spread conspiracies here. I'm just sharing the information from this report that I thought was a bit strange. Let's see what else we see here in this report. I thought I'd show you the United Kingdom. They're expected to lose 78% of their population. What in the world is supposed to happen that's going to cause this many people to be wiped off the planet? Hmm. And Israel, Israel is going to lose 54% of its population. Those are staggering numbers, staggering. <laughs> Let's keep going. So again, I'm certainly not into conspiracy theories. So I did do some checking to see if there are other sources that could confirm that something may be happening behind the scenes that we don't know about. So this information comes from Global Trends 25, a transformed world. Now, this is from the US government printing office. And I'm going to share some things with you from this article. It goes on to say reports project probable strong global economic growth fueled by the rise of Brazil, Russia, India, and China, absent major shocks. Now those nations, if you go to that Deagle report, those nations right there didn't experience the population decrease, not like what it shows for the United States, Britain, Canada, Israel, they didn't suffer the loss like those other nations. So it says the 2025 report, however, assesses the likelihood of major discontinuities to be high, emphasizing that no single outcome seems preordained and that the next 20 years 
of transition toward a new international system are fraught with risk, such as a nuclear arms race in the Middle East and possible interstate conflicts over resources. So you all, 2025, we're just, we're talking four years here. We're not talking about a lot of time. And we can see that things are already beginning to take shape. Now this happened in December of 2020, but this came out on Friday, March 5th. It says the Maritime Executive, Russia and China team up in the Indian Ocean. Two recent naval exercises demonstrate the potential for Russia-China cooperation in the Indian Ocean and how the two present a much greater threat to a continued U.S. role and influence in the region than either would individually. <sighs> Things are happening. And then there is this from CBS News, The Great Dying. Earth's largest ever mass extinction is a warning for humanity. Right now, our planet, planet is in the midst of what science says is an unprecedented rate of change, unlike anything seen in tens of millions of years. Overconsumption, unsustainable practices, and the release of immense amounts of greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels are altering our life-sustaining climate at a dangerous pace. Oceans are acidifying and losing oxygen and species are dying off. It says, but this is not the first time that life on our planet has, has faced an epic change. The worst came a little over 250 million years ago before dinosaurs walked the earth. In an episode called The Permian Triassic Mass Extinction or Great Dying, when 90% of life in the oceans and 70% of life on land vanished. <laughs> wow. Again, the powers that be says it's all because of global warming. But there are other reports showing that the earth is cooling down. So could it be that what we're witnessing around the world is the beginning of a showdown between God and man? In this next series, Legal Yet Wicked, we're going to take an honest look at these controversial laws that are actually doctrine of demons. We need to examine these things because yes, the creator is trying to tell us something, but the powers that be are saying we're not listening. But what about you though? Which side will you be on? Based on the results we're getting, it's obvious that the keeping of laws of man will get you killed when they conflict with the laws of the Creator. So you need to pay attention so that you're not destroyed with the wicked. Join me next time. Shalom.